today we're going to have another talk about the Commodore Plus 4. It's um, a machine I actually quite like. Um, the reason I quite like it is because it was misunderstood and I think it should have and could have done better. But the fix that we did last time on the processor was one of these. Basically it was um, a processor board which would accept a standard Commodore 6510 CPU. Now, I quite liked the fix on this. I was quite glowing about the fix because it, it got a dead plus four running where the original CPUs are incredibly hard to come by these days. And when you do come by them, they run massively hot. They should have had a heat sink on them from the start. To prevent the problems that we have now with them. Now this fix which was a two-part fix which came with the um, processor board and the upgraded kernel provided functionality. It provided this machine with the functionality it needed to run. It had a few flaws, but the flaws I wasn't that worried about because I was predominantly going to use this machine with um, a modern SD drive, not, you know, the old fashioned tech cassette drive or even the original floppy drive. Because at the end of the day, I would like to keep my software all in one place that I'm using on, you know, a regular basis and keep the originals to one side you know, for future use. So this fix did everything that I actually wanted it to and um, I was quite happy with that and it does provide a really good fix. Now the downside is it needs a patch on the kernel to use the serial port which isn't a problem. The, the other downside is that it needed a another solder connection of a diode on the motherboard on the bottom of the board to stop the cassette drive running when the machine was powered on. So the motor on the cassette drive ran as long as the machine was powered on if you had the cassette plugged in. Again to me that wasn't a problem because I was going to use a emulated cassette drive and an SD card one anyway. So that wouldn't have caused me any problems either. The, the last issue was, was it had issues with cassette tape fast loaders and cassette tape Nova loaders which um, was a bit of an issue if you were going to use predominantly cassette tapes on it but if you had them already converted to an SD drive or you downloaded them again that to me wasn't a problem because the functionality was there everything worked in the same way it works for a normal plus four but I came across a new fix which used what looks to me like an FPGA. It emulated everything that you needed on this machine that the new processor couldn't do. And um, that to me was something I couldn't turn down because I needed to find out if, you know, an emulated fix using a different processor on this machine was going to do the job because my whole idea of these machines is that we keep the functionality going and if that means we have to use emulation then we have to use emulation because if there's nothing else that does everything that we need on a standard hardware fix then that's the route we should be going and that's the only route we've got sometimes to keep these older machines running so we're going to have a look at it now. I just want to try a different repair on this machine. This machine's working well. It does everything you need to do, but fast loaders are a problem or fast tape loaders because the, the workaround doesn't work with fast loaders. So it kind of restricts you a little bit to some of the software. Now I'm going to try this little piece of equipment which is the 85M C01 and basically it's a, another fix for the Commodore's Plus 4's processor which is meant to work with fast loaders 
and basically not have any issues with uh, software that the other fix or the other workaround does. Now it's a lot more complicated piece of kit and uh, it shows in the design. It's not just simply a patch for the original processor to run basically a version of the 6510. And it came all the way from Italy by a company or a, a, a group called MCES and this is their latest version which we're going to try. And there we have the original repair which is a 6510. So what we're going to do is um, take this one out but we also have to replace the kernel and put the original in because this one uh, is a fix for the serial port but um, we're going to take this out and we're going to have a try of the new system. Okay so we have the original kernel in and we have the new updated processor in. And it's quite a neat package, it fits really well, it only just fits up against this capacitor here. But other than that it's, it's quite tidy. It looks kind of if it, as if it should have been in the machine from the start. Okay, so the moment of truth, I'm just going to switch the machine on. And there we go. So we have it works. So we're going to try out um, the machine now. Okay, so everything seems to work as normal. So we're going to try the machine out with some fast loading software and see what happens. Okay, so we're going to attach the Commodore cassette deck, and the immediate thing you notice is it's not running the tape deck full time. What the original um, fix I had in this was um, it ran the tape deck, it ran the motor all the time. This one doesn't. So this one works the way it should work. So we're going to try some cassette software out and see what happens. Okay, so the usual load and then we're going to start off. There we go and the screen goes the right colour and it goes blank straight away looking for the cassette. So we're not going to subject you to the cassette spinning for the next 15 minutes so we're just going to do a little bit of video editing and we're just going to show you when it's installed and running. And the good thing is it stopped and started the cassette deck straight away as soon as it found it. So that's another plus point over the hack junk um, version, which was good anyway, and it basically makes sure that everything runs. And here we are. And it's, as you can tell, it's a fast loader, so we'll see how it goes. Yep, still loading. Still loading. You forget how slow these cassette decks are, but they do work every time. And that's it. It's done. That's the game running. So we're going to try another one just to make sure. Uh, but this one, this fix seems to be 100% compatible. Okay, we're going to try this one now for the Commodore Plus 4. Again, it's in the tape deck ready to go. And we're just going to load it on the screen. Press play on tape. And then off it goes. So we'll wait until this one installs. Okay, it's found it. And it's stopped the tape. And started the tape. Spot on. No timing fixes, no fixes for pauses. And again, it seems to work every time. 
Okay, so it's loading in as normal. And so this is not a fast load, it's a Nova load. So we'll see how it copes with this one. And there we have it, Mr. Puniverse running from a Nova load cassette tape which is something the other one never did. So, the original fix had problems with these loads, but this seems to work fine. So back to the main screen, and we're going to see how it works with the serial port. Because, again, the um, original fix had to have a patch on the kernel to work with the serial port. So this time we're going to give this another try. We're going to try this version out this new fix with a serial port device. First with a SD device and it is connected via an adapter because the plus 4 uses a different cassette interface so we need the power via this cassette adapter to make this work and we're just going to um, see if the actual machine sees the device. Yep, and it sees the device. Should come back with an... Yep, that's it. So this machine actually sees the serial port properly. So again, that's another plus point, literally, over the other device. So we're going to give it another test, this time with an original disk drive. Connected through the serial port. And... We're going to try it from the plus four to see if this fix actually works with a serial port with any other enhancements. So we'll do a quick search on the drive and see what happens. And there we go. So if we list it, we have the program listed in here now. So it obviously it works. So we're going to get it let it finish its listing and we'll run just to make sure that it actually has seen everything on the drive and yes it's the introduction to the disk drive so if we skip along to the end of this line and try part two And again, this works fine. List the program, written in basic, and everything works the way it should do. So, seems to be, so far, a really good fix for a Commodore Plus 4 or Commodore 16. Okay, as you can see from um, what we've just done, the Commodore Plus 4 runs a treat. Everything works as it should do software loads, the fast loaders work, the Nova loads work, everything on this machine is now 100% no compromises. I can't find a fault. It works with serial port SD drives and it also works with the original disk drive, floppy disk drive for these machines, which is a massive bonus. The original fix wasn't bad. I mean, I was glowing about it because it is a good fix and it's relatively inexpensive as well and um, most people will use emulated tape drives or disk drives on these machines now rather than cassette or the original floppy drive because they're incredibly slow but this fix gets around every single problem on this machine and it makes this machine 100 percent a plus four with no issues and for that i again can't highly recommend it enough now you may have problems finding this fix because it was from Italy um, you'd have to do a search I had to search quite a few pages and quite a few websites and auction sites to find one but if you do find one then it's highly advantageous to put it back in this machine if you can't find one and you want a UK fix something that you can buy from the UK without waiting 
for a long time for it to be delivered and something that's easy to find is the hack junk one. So I hope you found this um, interesting and I hope uh, going forward if you want to save your Commodore Plus 4 there are two routes to go and um, either one are really really good and I don't have any problems with either of them because they both do what they should do which is save a Commodore Plus 4 computer from the bin or the scrap heap. So thank you for watching, thank you for listening and I hope you subscribe and you like what you see and we'll meet each other on this channel in the future where we'll have a lot more fixes and reviews of computer hardware going forward and also computer program reboot uh, episode coming very very shortly okay so thanks for your time thank you